Steamboat Geyser, in Yellowstone National Park, has been in the news many times in the last year. Activity has increased considerably. Steamboat Geyser had its 32nd major eruption of the year, adding to the record it broke earlier in 2018. MTN's John Shear reports on what is making Steamboat so very active this year. Steamboat Geyser has had its 32nd major eruption of the year. That's another record. MTN's John Shear reports on what's making Steamboat so active this year. Let's back up and take a look at what we know about the geyser. Steamboat Geyser, in Yellowstone National Park, is the world's tallest currently active geyser. The geyser can reach heights of 300 feet. Steamboat Geyser has two vents, a northern and a southern approximately 20 feet apart. The geyser is located in the Norris Geyser Basin, within Yellowstone National Park. For the most part, this geyser has been relatively quiet for the past 50 years. We have charted data for the last 100 documented eruptions of the geyser. We are looking at the quantity of eruptions by year, note at the bottom of the graph, the years with no data represent inactivity or no eruptions. In this graph, we have eliminated the inactive years to highlight the number of eruptions. The geyser started erupting on March 15 of 2018 after being silent for 3 years and 192 days. Since the first eruption on March 15 the geyser has erupted 32 times, setting an all-time record for the calendar year, and continues in 2019. Let's take a look at some history and what scientists think is happening underground. Steamboat's previous record was 29 major eruptions back in 1964. They're fickle entities. Before it sprang back to life on March 15th of this year, Steamboat had only erupted four times in the previous 15 years. Most geysers are not predictable like Old Faithful and Grand and other geysers are. The last record in 1964 occurred just a few years after the massive 1959 Quake Lake earthquake that claimed 36 lives. This year's activity at Steamboat follows the Maple Creek swarm of more than a thousand small earthquakes in 2017. Seismicity acts as a kind of conduit cleaner or, or vent cleaner uh, or, or plumbing cleaner. Hungerford says shaking the ground around geysers can also change the flow of underground water. We are learning about the underground plumbing. We have a lot of work to do in understanding how all these uh, these geysers are connected. That work is aided by one of the most dense arrays of seismic monitors at any thermal site in the world. That, combined with other monitors and even satellite imagery, is beginning to paint a picture of what's happening underground. But right now we have a coarse idea of in some areas of, of what is going on underneath. Someday, scientists hope to have a complete map of Yellowstone's underground thermal systems. We're going to get to that point. Really? We will, eventually. It's, it's going to take a lot of um, know-how and ingenuity, and we're, we're, we're working on it. Hungerford won't predict how soon that may happen, but says scientists are hard at work on building that definitive geyser map. In Bozeman, I'm John Shearer for MTN News.
Please subscribe, like, and share.